First I'm going to show you how to make some test prints with three different kinds of erasers. This is a white vinyl pencil eraser, an art gum eraser, and a magic rub eraser. This is some watercolor paint that has been dried on this lid from another painting session. I'm going to dab some water onto it with my brush and work the water around to help get a nice thick color and test and see how that prints compared to color straight out of a tube. I'm not going to use a stamp pad for this first test. I'm just going to use my brush. This is a nice flat brush to brush the color directly on the erasers and press it on the paper. I'm also not using carved erasers for this first test. I'm just testing the technique of using watercolors and erasers to make stamp prints. Here's the art gum eraser. I'm going to try this end. It has some irregularities in the surface. It might look interesting. So notice how the color beads up a little bit on the surface. It doesn't give you completely even coat until you brush it a couple of times in each direction. And then as soon as you've got a thin even coat, just press it on your paper. You can try to see what you can get with the second print. Um, I'll try on the Magic Rub. Magic Rub has some bubbles in the side, so that might be interesting to see how those print. And here's a second print with no re-inking. Now, the white vinyl eraser has a very smooth surface that's going to resist the color even more. But once I brush it a couple of times in each direction, the other thing I want to do is try and avoid getting a large amount of buildup on one side because that's going to... I'll show you how that looks if I get too much color on one side. It's a very messy print. But if you have too much color and you notice it before you print, you can dab it off. On a rag and then reapply a little bit. And then try printing again. And here's a second print.